This machine is a very versatile machine, and you can see that it's got all the features we have for our mag drills, like we have uh, a relay type switch. And you notice here that the green on switch and the red off switch, the red off switch is higher, so it's safety. So even if you're not, if you just do it by feel, you know which one is off, which is really nice. Okay, here's our magnet switch. Turns the magnet on and off. And we also have our coolant, right? And that coolant uh, feeds. We have a valve, which is closed and open, and you can regulate the coolant as you wish. And then it feeds right directly into the arbor and through the center of the cutter. And this is a quick release as well. You push on this rib and you can pull it out. And you can press it back in. And it's in. And that's a uh, and uh, on the other side, and these will protect the switch as well. These bars protect the switch if it falls over. We just turn the machine around a little bit and you see what we have here. Another important feature of the machine is our quick release arbor. Now this is you know, you know, a tool free arbor so you can mount the cutter without a tool and you have uh, uh, another very important feature, this is the, the lock, so if you raise it up, you don't want it to fall down, you just, you can use this, it's tool free. And uh, another important thing we have right here is, for different purposes, we can raise the entire motor head up and down according to what we need, and I'll show you that in a minute. But that is controlled by this right here, and we include the tool for that. But right now, let's take a look at how we mount our cutter, because you wouldn't believe how easy it is. Here we've got a, f a, 50, a 35 by 50 millimeter cutter with, with the pilot pin. And so you just mount your pilot pin in there and get a load of this. All you have to do is you put the cutter in there. And it snaps, see, it snaps down, and you know it's ready to go. And now you're ready to drill. And you just uh, and then when you need to remove the cutter, change to another size, very easy. All you do is you pull up on, the, on it to release. And the cutter comes out like so. And now we'll get to something very interesting. If you want to mount twist drills, sometimes you want to be using twist drills. Normally with a mag drill, that can be kind of inconvenient to switch over, but with this machine, it's very, very easy. And I'll show you exactly how we do that. First off, right, as you see, it's too low. We're at the highest part, right? We're at the highest level, and we're too low. What we can do is we can raise the entire motor head up so we can fit our drill on there. And here's how you do it. First, you can get the spoke out of your head so you can see what we're doing. Here's what you do. You loosen, tap, and then we just raise it to the maximum height and tighten it again. And you see here? This is a special cutter adapter. We're starting with the cutter from it. So this is just a normal drill chuck, and this is a special adapter that mounts it so that it has the same kind of welding coupling as a, as a cutter. So it can just go right in, in the same way you would mount a cutter. There, it's mounted and ready to go. Then we mount our drill. Tighten her up. Okay, our drill is in there, and we're ready to go. And we're ready to drill. And now we can just drill, just like a traditional mag press. And then when we want to return to cutter operation again, here's how we do it. All we need to do, what we want to do is we want to set the, drill, the motor head as low as possible uh, so that it has the most stability. So what we'll do is, First we lower, the guide, lower the, the guide all the way to the bottom and then we just take, take our T-handle wrench we lower it so it 
meets the bottom, and then we're good. And we retighten again. And now we're ready for cutters again. And then we mount our cutter, and we can do a cutter. So you can see how quickly we can switch between different size cutters, or between the, between the cutters and the twist drill setup. And now here's something else we should talk to you about. So this is relating to maintenance. Sometimes, as you're operating, you'll be getting, maybe you might get some looseness in the gibbs here. Well, all you have to do is we'll provide you with a wrench, with a, a combination wrench, and with the right size 2.5 uh, hex key. And so you just loosen each one up as we go around the loosen each one. And then we can slowly adjust. Going through the whole range of motion, we will make that adjustment so it's tight, but not too tight. As we're there, we tighten it down. So we get this on there. Let's see. And that's all we do. And we do that throughout the whole range of motion. Adjust the gibbs so that they're just right. Tight, but not too tight. Make sure we're in the position. Let's just check it. Yeah, see that feels good. There's no play, it's tight, but it's not too tight. And that's an important maintenance operation that you have to do from time to time. And of course, whenever we're operating, we always want to use this, the chip guard, to protect you from the rotating blade. You know what you have to do to mount it? Is you just have these butterfly bolts, butterfly screws, and you uh, mount it in there. Chip guard, you can also raise and lower if you need to. Raise and lower as needed. And another important safety feature is our safety chain. This is very important, especially when you're maybe operating in a high position or just we always use it. And it's really easy. All you do is just run it through the, run it through the handle and then put it around the whatever work first work piece you need and you know you just uh, Say this is the workpiece, and then you just uh, you know you, and you just attach 